God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Good morning or evening to you. I'm Lauren here with the team, and this is Marian Saturday. Today is the Saturday nearest the Great Marian Feast of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, coming up here on November 27th. So today, we're going to base our reflection on that. I'm so glad you've decided to join us in prayer. Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal is the title given to Our Lady and her set of apparitions to St. Catherine Labore. It was during these apparitions that she gave St. Catherine the visual description of the Miraculous Medal in the directions for creation and use of this medal. It is really an incredible story and a truly miraculous medal. We put together a video all about this set of apparitions, and it includes some really neat miracle stories, so be sure to check that out. I'll put the link in the notes for this episode. For our prayer time, I'm going to be reading a creative interpretation of what St. Catherine might have said and felt. It's not an actual quote or piece of writing from her, or private revelation from her, it's just what someone wrote from her perspective of how she might have described the events. So it's a different type of meditation, different than our Life of Mary private revelation meditations, which are believed to have been given to the saints by our Blessed Mother. So it's not that. It's uh, This is just an author's creative take on St. Catherine and the situation. But I think it provides a nice little meditation coming from her perspective like this. So I'm going to share it with you today. I invite you to sit back and close your eyes if you can and imagine sitting down with St. Catherine as she tells you this story. I know this may sound silly to you, but I had been praying for some time with some intensity, asking our Lord to let me see his mother. I'd had a devotion to her my whole life and felt drawn to her in a way I can't quite express. Like she had a need for me in some way. If only I could see her and speak with her, I prayed, then I'd have some clarity. In the middle of the night one night, I was woken up by what I can only describe as a shining child, but I knew it was my guardian angel. My angel told me that Our Lady was waiting for me in our home's chapel. You can imagine how I flew out of bed, wondering, whether I was dreaming. At first, the chapel was empty, but then I heard a sound, like the rustling of silk, and Mother Mary appeared. She was so beautiful that I cannot describe her. I ran to her and fell on my knees. She bent down and clasped my hands, sitting with me. We talked this way for what must have been hours. It was complete ecstasy. Our Lady told me she had a task for me, and then later showed me the images that she wanted to be made into a medal for people to wear as a sign of her love and protection. She promised great graces to all who wear it. The front image symbolizes all of these graces that she wants to give us. The back image 
symbolizes the indissoluble relationship between her and Jesus, her role in the salvation of mankind, and her participation in her son's passion. I always referred to it as the Medal of the Immaculate Conception, but folks have been calling it the Miraculous Medal because of all of the miracles that have been associated with it. Our mother really loves us so very much. She wants to give us all of heaven and spend eternity blessing us. In seeing Mother Mary, I was given a glimpse of the infinite peace and beauty that awaits us. And at the same time, a glimpse of the love and mercy and grace available to us on earth. My eyes will ever be upon you, she said. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Confident that he will hear us, we ask. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Eternal Word, you taught your mother Mary to choose the path that was best. Let us follow her example and hunger for the food of everlasting life. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Christ, our Redeemer, you made the Virgin Mary the sanctuary of your presence and the temple of the Spirit. Make us bearers of your Spirit in mind, heart, and body. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Calling to mind all of our intentions, together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Virgin Mary, there has not risen in the world among women one similar to Thee, blooming as the rose, fragrant as the lily. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. O O sacred sacred virgin, hear the song of my praise. We beseech thee, O Lord, that the heavenly intercession of the ever-glorious and blessed Virgin Mary may protect us and conduct us to eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God watch over and protect us in blessing this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us in prayer today. If you don't already wear a miraculous medal, I urge you to consider it. This is an incredible devotion of sorts. I've included a link also to the Association of the Miraculous Medal website, where you can request a free medal. As always, we so appreciate you being a part of our TGM family, and we'll see you tomorrow.
And I